All right, and we are back. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Wow, I didn't realize we were actually almost at the end of that journey. Okay. Well, here we are then. Carrying on. Last time we met up with Triss Marigold and had to go recover uh, some kind of sack full of magical ingredients. And I forgot the timer again. And now I guess we're finding out what this guy's deal is and why we're visiting him. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Okay. Yeah, I'll trust you, but you know what? Since you seem to be a businessman, you probably know about business half in advance. You're a merchant, familiar with how commerce works. Of course. Honest pay for honest work. Half up front, half once the job's done. You're asking a great deal. I'm a witcher. Gotta admit, I've met my share of people who say one thing beforehand, another after the fact. Hmm. Very well. Your first installment. We need to place these crystals around the greenery, near anything that looks rat-related. Okay. Rat traps, huh? Alright, that sounds like it should be an easy enough job for a witch. I'll oh cover my half God. the space, you take the other half. Look for Look evidence out. of rat activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices, and draw things. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Anyway, looks like we're being rat catchers for a day. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. Well, I see what you're saying, Geralt. He's up to something. Master monster slayer in the world's largest city. Looking for rat shit. Jeez. Hmm. Something's going to go horribly wrong here. Anything else? We have to. Think it? I plugged every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. I don't know. Something's going to happen. It's not going to be this simple. It never is. You don't suppose this is some kind of trap, do you? Well. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Hmm. What happened at near the end of Assassin's Kings? I thought Triss and Geralt had a pretty good relationship going here. Alright, what's going on? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, 
Said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. Hmm. Hmm. There's some subtext here that I'm clearly missing. We'll say maybe you're right, though. Might as well agree with her. You could be right, but only he knows the truth. We're only ever the ones to know the truth about ourselves. Which we share at times with those we hold dear. Even if it's hard to swallow? Even then. Who knows? Maybe one day. So, tell me how Yen is doing. How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Uh, to be honest, I don't really know. For one, it's been quite some time since we've actually seen her. And second of all, we didn't really socialize that much. I don't really know what Geralt sees in Yen, for to be honest. It was pretty much all business with her. Don't know yet. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. And there go the rats. Good work, I guess. <laughs> well, Look at them all. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Let's agree your friends were never here. Now pay the rest and let's part in peace. You don't set the terms, mutant. Stay out of it. We're here for the witch. We're inseparable, see? Take us both. Geralt! If you say so. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this poor son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. All right, fat man, you're going down. Zyme? <laughs> Butcher of Blaviken, you fools! You don't know who you're dealing with. That bastard hired me on the assumption he wouldn't have the pain when he's attempted to entrap the witch. If not for you, we need to find Bran. Oh, I quite agree. And he shall taste of my steel. Really? Don't kill me, good sir. No, they forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Thanks, Geralt. Yeah, I think uh, that was a good, good handling, Geralt. Good handling. We got money. The fat man will learn not to double cross sorcerers and sorceresses and witchers and upper such folk in the future, hopefully. And everyone's happy, I guess, except the witch hunters. They are dead. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareem's been very effective. We should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. 
Um, Triss, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but your hand is still on the fire. Uh, you gonna be okay? Alright, well, it was nice seeing you. It was nice to see you again. You too, Gareth. You should go now, before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the Bips, near the fish market. Stop by. Better be nice. See you later. See, I don't know what Geralt's thinking. I mean, Triss is clearly crazy about him, and yet Geralt is too busy running after Yennefer. Ugh. I just don't know. Hey there, shady individual. What's that? Just kind of grunting at me in a kind of disconcerting fashion. Just passing by, wanderer, or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. That is true. That is true. Um, yeah, well, I guess good for you. Nice meeting you. Nice hat. But I'm looking for someone else right now. I'm looking for Kareen Tilly. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. The what now? Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed disturbances. <laughs> Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, th they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week, well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the park. Well, that's certainly something. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. All right. Well, I kind of need to get in, so if you don't mind. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. You know, I can't help it. We're already dependent on the black buns. Economically. Yes, of course. But the thing is, I mean, everyone always points out the two swords. Any idiot can strap two swords to his back and call himself a witcher. I've got the medallion, which again, I guess any idiot could have something like that forged. But the cat's eyes! The cat's eyes! You can't miss them! Why are people not commenting on that? Uh, well, this is all haunted. Um, yep, definitely all haunted. I'm gonna have to confiscate this. You don't want any haunted furniture and goods. Yep. Definitely all haunted. Can't have any of this. Smoking pipe, mugs. I mean, they're not worth much. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Okay. Something's going on down there. Stop. Uh. Go away. Leave it. Wait, are, are you telling me not to rob? Hmm. Oh. Hello. Hey, it's a godling, I think. Wake up, it's just a dream. Wake up.
the doll. The Atif. Check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. You've already fallen back asleep? Wow. And then again, I guess if it's your profession to Stop. sleep and dream, then I guess you have to be able to fall asleep at the drop of a hat. Leave it. Alright, let's uh Yep, all haunted stuff here. Just keep harvesting all that. Some delicious cow's milk. Um, blah, blah, blah. Milk. Unfortunately, it's all haunted. It down, Everything has That's to go. Blood. Don't spill it. What is this? Uh, that leads up to the attic. Uh, where does this ever path go? Where do you go? Uh, yep. All haunted silver. Can't can't let you keep that. You know, dangerous. Uh, can I loot chest thing? I can. In this. Seriously, though, I, I find it immensely it. funny how, for the most part, I can just wander anywhere and steal anything. I mean, I'm kind of concerned that there might be some kind of consequence for that, but so far, there has, I mean, only when I'm in a public place does there seem to be any kind of consequence, and that's just you know, some guards who come after me. We're oddly high level. Way to the next room is blocked. Which, yeah, I mean, if the people who are responsible just for... Am I supposed to just use art on that? I could push that. But it's much easier to just blow it open, I guess. Alright. I don't know if that meets any good. But alright. There's what we're supposed to go examine, but for the time being, loop all the other stuff. And it's not like we won't have a chance to do this later, but. Ooh, note. Drawing of a crib. Certainly. Hmm. Child's drawing of a crib. There's a little doll in there. The doll is over here. So we put the doll in the crib and everyone's on the second floor. Wonder what'd happen if I laid a doll in it. That's a good question, Geralt. Let's uh let's test that theory. Hopefully nothing bad. Um I'm missing something. Oh, it's in the little side here. The nursery, I guess you could call it. Ooh, it's rocking. Uh-oh. What's this? Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. No joy. A riddle. I guess I should find an oven. Okay. Well, the oven is probably downstairs in the kitchen, if I had to guess. That's normally where I would put an oven if I were building a house. Could be down here. Can't use. Alright. Oh, I'll open this first, don't I? Alright. Uh, but just to be safe, let's see if the oven is in fact up here, where it should be. No? Of course, then again, I guess it would make sense for, in a house like this, you know, back in the days before indoor heating, they would have, since hot air rises, you would probably want it in the lowest part of the house, so that the heat rises up through the floor and makes things nice and toasty. Looks like we're going to need art again. Kabam! Alright. Should I light a fire in there? Oh, 
Oh. Hello there. Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. Hmm. You know, you might like to meet a friend of mine. He goes by the name of Johnny. Of course, then again, you seem to like Holmes. He likes the swamp. That's a romantic comedy in the making. So, I mean, they look like children, but being spirits and all, they're probably you know, hundreds or thousands of years old. Anyway, moving on. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got this red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to. I don't. I won't. Now, in truth, since she was here first, she could presumably apply for squatter's rights. But, uh... Yeah, since she's not human, no doubt all those witch hunters will have side of the merchant, and things would get pretty ugly. So let's uh, let's try to settle this in a way that will hopefully please everyone, especially our little godling friend here. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling, but if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange. I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. Yes. Yes! Do that, and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Why, thank you. So, uh, what's the point in blowing up this wall, then? Do we have anything cool down here? Some cavalry trousers, apparently. Some ore, some boots. All the stuff I smashed down. Wait, did I miss something? Nope. Alright, just some fancy loot. Okay. Now we're talking. Actually, this loot isn't all that valuable, but it is good to have found it nonetheless. What is this? I mean, this looks like ruins of some kind of previous structure. It looks a lot different than what's here, that's for sure. Yep. Gerald, thank you. It would be kind of awkward if you couldn't climb through that. Anyway, let's uh, just go take care of things up here and... I guess we got a happy ending for everyone. So I wonder what would have happened if I had asked to throw her out. Because in the end, maybe that would work out better, because I'm kind of scared that the merchant might get the idea in his head that, well, if I if the house is haunted, let's just burn it down. I, I don't know why I said it in that voice, but that's how I imagine the merchant talks, even though I've clearly heard what he actually sounds like. Alright, moving on. Who are you? 
Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream a history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. All right, that's fair enough. Okay, so in the end, a happy ending for everyone. Well, oh. I guess except for the merchant. I mean, or the banker. He's a banker. He's not really a merchant. But anyway, yeah, he he's probably in for a bit of a loss. But I mean, I I think he can he can suck it up. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Oh, I can... Well, I'm kind of scared to tell him the truth, because what if... What if he wants to hurt the godling? Ugh. Alright, I'll... I did promise the godling, though, I would... You know, say I couldn't get rid of the curse. Hopefully this doesn't come back to haunt me. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. But she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Okay, good. So, ultimately, you're all right. Sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. That is smart, but that's not why we have two swords. Also, it looks like that's probably the end of this episode, so thank you all for watching. When we pick up, we'll go meet Corrine at the Golden Sturgeon. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, leave a like if you like the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps to build the channel. Show your support. It really means a lot. And I will see you next time.